Well, hey guys, we're gonna put up two today. Uh, Mopar nut, what is it, 62? Mopar nut 62. Got his stump grinder out. Just so happens. We got some stump grinder teeth and the shop needs to be sharpened. So, hang on, we're gonna throw that up. Just a little quick one. Um, for the sharpening guys and Oh, more part of it. And we'll see if we can't get this done, you know, one or two, and let her go. All right. I'm going to put Laura's on this one. We've lo uh, we loaded the wheel on the grinder there. Nice little wheel. 120 grit uh, diamond. Uh, rough cut, copper bond. This thing will last forever. And what we're doing is we're grinding these little things. These, there's 15 million different configurations, but these are stump grinder teeth. So, Mr. Lars going to show you how to do this real quick. Let's do it. So, hang on. Here we go. We're going. <laughs> Okay, finished product here. Um, well, I had it there just a second ago. Yeah, he's gonna get in there. Uh, a lot of people, you really don't wanna sharpen the face of these unless you have to. You just wanna grind off the top. You don't wanna thin that carbide up, it'll bust easy. But there you go. Stump grinder teeth, 101, 102, 103. And 104. Um, there you go. Just found it ironic that uh, Mopar Nut 62 <laughs> pulled out a stump grinder and I had these stump grinder teeth in here to sharpen. <laughs> so, thought we'd throw that one up, just, you know, horsing around. And uh, Mr. Lars done a pretty good job. Yeah. I tried. Heck yeah, though, Mopar Nut man. It's cool seeing an old, you know, stump grinder like that still going. Keep them old machines alive, man. But if you guys are out there trying to do this and make money off of it, uh, I've never been able to make money off of them. Uh, they, they just, it takes too much time. But if you got two or three automatics running and got time to stand there and play with it, it's just extra money. But anyway, other than that, Hope you enjoyed this. We will see you the next time. That's right, next time. <laughs>